Okay, we're going to set this up for uh, 14 threads per inch. And it is calling for a 42 gear in A position. B and C are blank and a 35 tooth gear in D position. So I need a 40 and a 35. This will be the 40, and this will be the 35 in this position. I use um, any other combination of gears to fill the train. So, uh, I've had, uh, had someone leave me a comment that you know, I was using the wrong gears. And he actually referred me to a manual, but the manual he was referring me to was a, oh, seven by twelve mini lathe, or I have a seven by ten mini lathe. So there's three. Allen wrench screw. <laughs> Cap head screws. With a washer in each one of them. There's also I guess they call it the banjo. And it kind of it kind of allows the gear train to be manipulated. Gonna loosen them up a little bit. Okay, I'll leave the other one. Okay, so the uh, the way this thing came stock is um, twenty, eighty, and twenty. 20, 80, 20, 80. Well, I blew out my 80, so I'm running uh, 20, 80, 20, and actually, no, I think it's 65, so I'm going 20, 65, 20, 80. This one here is a, actually a metal gear. This one here is actually a metal gear of the 20s. Um, this is, I believe, the 65. I'm going to leave that there because we may be able to use that. to make up this new gear train. So, once again, it's A, B, C, and D. So I need 40 and 35. So I'm 40 up here. Okay, 
So there's the 40. So the 65 will work if I can find the gear to span these two. We have a 55 and a 57. I think this uh, 57 is going to work. So, yeah, that will. I'm going to need to. There's a bolt behind this gear on the banjo that's going to allow me to bring this gear train over. So, I already have contact with A and B. I'm going to loosen up the other nut behind this axle. I'll be able to slide this gear over and a little contact between all of them. So I'm going to snug this one up a, just a bit. Yeah, I should use the right. Right wrench. And this one here. You know, they give me. I'm going to have to loosen up. Okay, so I should be able to. There we go. Okay, so initially. Okay, it's going to require a little fine tuning. You know. What I like to do is uh, put a piece of paper. Okay.
Okay, that looks a little silly. I think we're good there. Okay, everything is kind of semi-tight. I'm gonna. I think I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and snug this stuff up. The paper is uh, going to give you um, a separation of the teeth that you want or close to it. Okay, so let's review. We're going to do 14 teeth, 14 threads per inch. So I changed A to a 40 tooth gear and I changed D to a 35 I did a 65 and a 57 to fill the gap to complete the gear train so we should we should be geared for 14 teeth per inch Okay, so we'll put the cover back on. We will put the crank. We'll come back. We'll put the crank on. Okay. That's uh gonna be kinda how it goes.